go. Not a bad drifter, isn't it? Look at that. Slides real nice. It has a lot of potential. Hi everyone, in this video we're going to try out the Flying Spur, the 2021 Bentley Flying Spur car that was just given away as part of the events. It comes in stock at Performance Class A and it has 626 horsepower. Let's give it a ride. Here's what it looks like from the side. Front. Back. Inside. Here we go. Okay, sounds kind of nice. Seems to have pretty quick acceleration. Performance class A, I can't believe a Bentley that is a performance class A. Around this bend, we're gonna go ahead and go outside again. It's getting dark. Let's go ahead and do a sound check right here. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Doesn't sound like much anymore. Inside sounded pretty good. Out here doesn't sound like much. 145 miles per hour, going faster still. We're in the sixth gear. I was, lost my uh, sight for a second there. I was paying attention to the speedometer. But here we go. Let's see how fast we can get it to go. 150 miles per hour right now. 160. Handles okay so far, actually. 158, 157, I lost it again. Gotta keep my eyes on the road. I wish the speedometer was like in the middle of the screen. I don't like it in the like bottom right corner. 165, 166, and still going up slowly in the sixth gear. We're at 180. Hitting the deck at 186. Oh gosh. Wow. Okay, so here we are. Performance class A, not very impressive. Inside looks pretty nice. The sound on the inside looks sounds pretty good too. Let's go back to the garage, tune it up, and see what kind of potential it can reach. Here we go. All right, so we did a quick search here of the different tuning setting options that we have available here that are created by other people already. And performance class S2 gets us up to 268 miles per hour as top speed and 1,750 horsepower. That's crazy. I definitely don't want to stay in performance class A, so I got to pick S2 uh, if I can. Yeah, this is really, really, really fast, it looks like, or at least the top speed is really high. Speed and acceleration are maxed out on this one. I like a little bit of a decent handling too, so 6.1 handling is what I'd rather have than a few extra miles of speed. Yeah, it looks like our best option is going to be this tuning setup right here. 1750 horsepower, 268 miles per hour top speed. Let's get it in and let's see what it sounds like. Let's see what it drives like with this new tuning setup. First gear, a lot of flames popping out. Here we go. Wow, so fast, holy moly. That's gonna be the only problem with this. Handling is not that great to be able to handle speed like that. <laughs> Easily crossing 200 miles an hour here and still accelerating pretty fast at 235, 238 is where we got. My goodness. There we go. Almost 1,500. 1,499 feet. Almost 1,500 feet. Let's go down to the stadium now. We want to see if we can get into the stadium. Should be no problem, but the handling with this tuning setup with lots of speed is not that great. I think it's still a real wheel drive. I forgot to check when I installed the tuning setup uh, because it still feels like rear heavy and a little bit wobbly on the rear end. So. I'm assuming it's still a rear wheel drive and uh, speed is pretty good though. I mean, even if it drives like this, I'll be easily able to get into the stadium. I'll just have to not speed too much. But the Winter Wonderland is right there waiting for us to come in 
and have some fun. So here we go. There we go, lights are on. That should get us in comfortably. The driving wasn't all that good. What? Did I hit a invisible uh, fence or something? So we're in the stadium. There were no issues whatsoever. Let's go ahead and hop in a little bit. Go in deeper into the woods, into the winter forest. Or a Christmas village. Right? Oh, we just need a drift transmission. I think this is going to be a really good drifter. So let's go ahead and pop on some drift wheels and things like that. And then we'll come back and we'll finish our last jump on the runway. Here we go. All right, so we're back in. And this time we got a drifting tuning setup on here. And we're going to try and drift this baby and see how this particular setup works. And so far, it's not bad. Okay, we can do this, we can do this, it's a pretty decent drifter, there is uh, some opportunity here to tweak the handling a little bit, I don't think it handles perfectly well for a drift right now, but not bad, not bad. So here we go, this is the 2021 Bentley Flying Spur, we have a drift setup on it, which also means it's going to be a really speedy one. So let's see what we can do without skidding too much. We're going to try the barrel roll with this giant tank of a thing. Big heavy car, big heavy Bentley. Let's see what we can do. We are at 220 miles per hour. Oh, no barrel. I was too late. The handling is not great on this thing, so wasn't as responsive but we got on the bridge so i ain't gonna, I ain't gonna complain <laughs> no complaints there we'll just drift right through past this car right here there you go not a bad drifter isn't it look at that slides real nice it has a lot of potential for a drifter. Alright, let's drift around this giant circle. Not bad for a tank, huh? Tank of a car drifting like that. That's crazy. Let me know what you think about this, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.